Welcome to this spoken tutorial on accessing SBHS through Scilab on Windows. SBHS stands for Single Board Heater System. In this spoken tutorial, we will learn to set up serial communication between Scilab and SBHS to perform a step test experiment. For this tutorial, I am using Windows 7 operating system and Scilab 5.3.3. You may download Scilab from www.scilab.org To install Scilab, watch the Scilab Spoken Tutorial series on http colon slash slash spoken tutorialorg Before proceeding with this tutorial, you should watch Introduction to XCOS Connecting SBHS to Computer The relevant tutorials for these are available in this series on the Spoken Tutorial website. To begin, we have to download the Scilab step test code. So, let us open a web browser. In the address bar, type os-hardware.in. Click on the project SBHS and then on the downloads link. Download the file available under the session SBHS local code and save this file on the desktop. Notice that the downloaded file will be in zip format. Right click on this file and choose extract here. A folder named Scilab Codes Local will be created. We are now ready to begin our experiment. Make sure the SBHS is connected to your computer and it is powered on. First we will check the communication port number assigned to the SBHS. To do this, Right click on my computer and then click on properties. A window will open up. In this window, click on the device manager. Please note that the look and feel of Windows 7 is completely different from other Windows versions. You may also need to vary the steps that I demonstrate here to suit your Windows version. The device manager will show you a list of hardware devices on your computer. Locate the ports COM and LPT option. Here it is. Double click on this option to open it. If you have connected RS232 cable, then look for communications port COM1. Else look for USB serial port. For RS232 connection, the port number mostly remains COM1. For a USB connection, it may change to some other number. Note down the appropriate COM number. In my case, it is COM14. Now sometimes, the COM port number you get after connecting a USB cable is a two-digit number. The serial toolbox which connects your board and computer can handle only single-digit port number. Hence, it is necessary to change your COM port number. Let me show you the procedure to change the COM port number. Double click on the particular COM port. Click on the port settings tab. Then click on advanced. In the COM port number drop down menu, choose the port number to any other single digit number. Windows may show you that all ports are currently in use. But in reality, this is only the old status. Hence, you can forcibly use a particular COM port number if there is no other USB device connected. Click on OK to apply the settings. Click on OK to close the properties window. Close the device manager and the remaining windows. Now let us learn how to configure Scilab to perform a step test experiment using SBHS. Open the Scilab local codes folder that we have saved on the desktop. Open the folder step test. Locate and double click on the file scr underscore init.sce. This will launch Scilab automatically and will also open the file in Scilab editor. If it doesn't open the file, click on the file menu, then on open a file. Choose the file scr underscore init and click on open. Switch to the Scilab workspace 
and execute the following commands. Type get d space dot dot slash common underscore files and press the enter key. Then type exec space dot dot slash common underscore files slash loader dot sce and press enter. You can see that it gives a message that it has loaded the serial port toolbox. Switch to the scilab editor. In the scr underscore ionity.sce file, locate the line which asks for the value of variable port 2. Value of port 2 variable needs to be replaced with the identified COM port number. Change the port number to the one you identified or which you have set just a few minutes back. Make sure this is in single quotes. Do not make any other changes to the content of this file. Now save the file. On the menu bar, click on the execute button to execute this file. On the Scilab workspace, you will get a message COM port opened. However, it is also possible that you get an error message. Let me explain using slides how do you handle a typical error. Let me switch to the slides. In case a TCL TK related error is displayed, reconnect the USB cable connected to the SBHS and execute this file again. Check once if the COM port number has changed. If it still doesn't work, restart Scilab and repeat the process. In the Scilab workspace, execute the following commands. Type exec space step underscore test dot sci and press enter. Then type xcos space step underscore test dot xcos and press enter. This will launch the xcos interface made for step test experiment. You can change the block parameters by double clicking on the blocks. It is recommended that you keep the parameters unchanged for the first time. In the menu bar of the xcos window, click on the simulation option. Now select the start option. After we have executed the xcos file successfully, a plot window with three graphs will be displayed. The first graph is of heater in percentage. The second graph is of fan in percentage. And the third graph is of temperature in degree Celsius. There are some things to be noted. Let me switch to the slides. The fan, heater and temperature are displayed on the SBHS display as shown in the image. Please note that the values shown in the graph should be same as displayed on the SBHS display. If this is not the case, then it means that Scilab is not communicating with SBHS. You can also check if the communication LEDs are flashing periodically. You will find these LEDs next to the USB connector on the SBHS as shown in this image. Now this is a real experiment and will take some time to produce results. I will now pause the recording for some time. After running the experiment for sufficient time, the final graphs will be as shown here. We can see that the temperature has responded to the step change in the heat value. Now most of the process that we went through can be completed by just executing one file. Let me show you this file. Switch to the step test folder. The steps after launching of Scilab till opening Xcos can be executed using the start.sce file. Let me switch to the slides. Usage of start.sce file is recommended only after you get a firm understanding of the process. This file assumes that the port number provided in the ser underscore ionity.sce file is correct. Now to stop the experiment, click on the stop option available in the menu bar of Xcos window. After completing the experiment, let us reset the SBHS. Let me switch to the slides again to illustrate this. A reset push button is provided on the SBHS as shown in the picture. To reset, press the reset button for 1 or 2 seconds and then release it. The reset operation makes heat 0% and fan 100%. 
However, zero is displayed for both on the LCD. The data file for this experiment is saved in the step test folder. Let me show you this file. The name of the data file is in the format of a timestamp. Read the data file name as year, month, date, hours, minutes, seconds, dot txt. Let me open and show you the content of the data file. It has values of heat, fan and temperature for every sample. Hence, this file can be used for analysis purpose. Now let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to set up serial communication between Scilab and SVHS, perform a step test experiment. The video available at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown here. Thanks for joining. This is Rupak Rokade from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.